Okay, one, two, one, two. No, that was not you, Mugs. Thank you. That's I was sitting here asking, hey, can you hear me? Ah, <laughs> uh, you're correct. That it, it, we had the wrong microphone in there. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Happy Tuesday, everybody! As you're popping on in, hit that like button. Say hi. Let me know that you are here. There we go. Uh, we will start. Uh, there's the link to the regular stream. It probably doesn't work, so you can tap the link in. Uh, it's in the main Discord room. I. What in the fog is this? Uh, I have. That's how you can get to the the regular non-vertical stream. If that is more. What you want to watch tonight? Wow, chat is so tiny. We're just going to zoom in even more than we usually do. <laughs> even more. All right. Happy, happy Tuesday. Welcome, everybody, back to the channel. You know who I am. I'm here every single Tuesday doing the same old thing. Let's get rid of these eggs. Who needs eggs in your pocket? Sell all the eggs. Tonight, what are we going to be doing? Well, we are doing a double feature tonight. It's been a while since I've done a double feature, but we're gonna we're gonna see how it goes. I'm just emptying out my pockets. You're not you're not missing any gameplay here. Uh, we are going to start out with the daily 76 run. While I do what I have on this sheet of paper, I'm going to do a non-spoiler review of the Fallout TV show. Uh, I finished watching it all. Some of you have finished watching it all. Let's talk about it. Let's debate in as non-spoiler of a way as we possibly can. Cool. Put your glasses on. Which ones? These ones? These ones? Ugh. These ones? Why would you put your glasses away if you could just leave them in a pile on your desk instead? <laughs> Hello, Mima. Hello, South to West. Hello, Jimmy. Hello, Harvey. Hello, Mugs. Hello, everybody who is lurking. Also, so we are going to milk and brahmin. I'm going to turn on all these tikis. I really wish. I think it's really unfortunate that the tikis don't start. Right? You have to manually go and turn them all on. Like, they're like, what? What? I ain't got time to go turn on my tiki torches when I start a start a run. That's the last thing I want to go do. The first thing I want to go do is pick up my tea and my honey and my coffee and my water. Water. And my ammo. But no, instead I'm going to turn all my tiki torches on. Are those even all of them? No, like, like I can't even reach this one. Thanks, Bethesda. Then I have to go over here and turn on my music box. So much work. Just so much. What's up, McKimbo? Good to see you. Good to see you, Mikimbo. I feel like it's been a long time. Uh, so Harvey's best friend, and he started watching the Fallout series. It's going to take eight weeks before you're done. See, that's why, Mugs. This is why I can't do a spoiler review. Because some people haven't finished watching yet. And I want it to get as much viewership as possible so that it doesn't get canned. So that we can have more Fallout. Okay, more Fallout. We need more Fallout in the world. Right? So. That's what we need. Let's just get rid of it. Oh, we got nothing here. Do we have anything to transfer here? Yep. Oh my gosh, I do not need that much Ultrasite scrap, but whatever. Alright, we'll head on over to our bed and rest for a little bit. So, we're going to start off with the daily run of doing all of the daily chores. And then, we are going to cover my review of Follow TV. And afterwards, the second half of the double feature is 100% different. We're going to pop on back over into Mario Wonder and pick up right where we left off. I have it open in a different tab behind Fallout. So we're going to do uh, something a little different there. And if somebody could keep your eye on my dog for me, and if somebody else could yell at her while she's doing this and just tell her to stop, that'd be great. That'd be great. What are you doing? Oh, puppy. Puppy. Yes, big girl. Yes, big girl. You don't need to eat your feet. Don't eat your feet. Eat my foot instead. Not one of those streams. You you stop that. Chat is covering Poe. Of course chat's covering Poe. It's either wasted empty space with nothing or it's my high quality graphic design. There we go. There we go. 
here we go. So, does that sound like a plan for today? We'll do the run. We'll do the run as fast as we can. At least long enough time for me to get through all of these things. And let me move my timer out of the way. Who are you and what are you doing in my base? Traveling merchant. Get out! Get out my base! I should have one tasty squirrel stew. So we will drink that. We will also... I have a lot of food. I have a lot of food that we do not need. Jimmy is sitting over there and he's saying, Barbara, why do you have this much food? And you know what? I don't have this much food because I'm just going to eat it all. This is some heavy cake. There we go. There we go. Happy human play game day. All your base, all your base are belong to us, to us. All your base are belong to us. Good to see you, James Becker. How are you doing? Good, sir. Uh, Mickey vote. am I doing well? <laughs> I'm here. I am not doing well, but that is neither here nor there, and we cannot talk about why I'm not doing well on this channel. So I'm doing just fine. All right. That's all you're getting out of me. <laughs> so we have eight chores that we need to get done today. We will likely not do any of the weeklies because I do want to pop on over to go play Mario Wonder. Uh, just want to quickly just eyeball some of the other people's bases. Do they have anything good for sale today? Why is there nobody? The server's empty. I mean, it's not. There's a bunch of dots, but nobody has a... Only two people have bases down. This the uh -huh. and nobody's on my team. <laughs> We're gonna get into it. We are going to get into it, Quinn. Back in James's day, Barbara was miserable on whatever channel she played, whatever channel I wanted to be. Changing her verbiage. I think we have, can, what, how many, question, how many people do you see on the watch page? I'm so confused. What's up, Josh Dean? Do we really only have three people here? There's a lot more than three people typing into chat. I'm confused. We have zero people on the regular stream. We have one person in this stream. One person, but 23 views. What? Like, this three down here, and I see my dashboard, I see one. I only see one person here. The watch page is showing me three also. What? You guys are all seeing three, aren't you? What's up, Zayden? How's it going? Happy Tuesday. What's up, Zorn? Yeah, there's at least 10 people in chat. See, Leif? But what do you, but what do you see on the watch page? You probably see this number. Or something close to this number. This two or three is what you see, right? Yo, the YouTube, the YouTube data. Yeah, see? YouTube is only registering two people being here. Something? Yo, J no, James. James, no. That, that's, that was different. <laughs> um, YouTube is... Hold, please. No, oh, everything's 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 up. Just trust me on that. Don't worry about it. Just trust me. Yeah, everything's up. So it's not a YouTube thing. I mean, it is. It is because like the number's wrong. But like, I don't know. It seems to be calculating, or or everybody's experiencing an issue and nobody's filed it yet. I don't know. Whatever. Okay, we're just going to assume there's more than one person here. Because all of you are here and all of you are talking. What's up, awful workplaces? How's it going? Hey, Barbs, if you're in chat, press one. Press one. I meant to say YouTube servers are down right now. I can confirm they are not. Don't worry. They're not. They're up. They're all up. They are all up. Uh, I guess we're going to do this run, and I'm going to work through my overall impressions of Follow TV, the world building, audio, story, Stordio, <laughs> character Zio, 
authenticity, retcon drama. We're gonna get into the retcon drama that is like pulsing through the Fallout community right now. There are so many people up in arms. TV show, how dare you? I will briefly touch on the, oh my gosh. I don't actually care. Note the, note how much I don't care. Uh, we're gonna compare it to some other TV shows and uh, that'll be a wrap on how I feel about the Fallout TV show. Did I do, did I do something with my hair? Uh, what is the quote? No, no, she said it's, her hair is more in one. Right at the end, Wolverine kind of like holds it and she says something like, hmm, I kind of like it as he's leaving. I forget what the exact quotes are. Anyways, I can, I can quote most, most, most of X-Men 1. Uh, yes, it is my rogue inspired hair. It is blonde here. It was blonde way the heck down here. And it's red everywhere else. It's just fun and different. Thought it was good, but not great. Well, how about this run? Is this run going to be good, but not great? No, this run's going to be awesome. Let's take a look at all of the daily chores that we need to get done today. We need to sell a weapon to an NPC vendor. Well, I accidentally already did that twice. We need to build a bed, build three beds, build five walls, cripple a protector on arm, eat five pre-war food, kill ten human enemies, Scrap junk to produce screws. All right, producing screws should be quite easy for us to go do. Uh, first, we will bulk up the screws. <sighs> I don't have a lot of screws. I don't have a lot of screws. You can't bulk up screws. Can you bulk up screws? How do I bulk up screws? Probably just need to make something that uses screws, right? Hmm, what could I make that definitely uses screws? What in the heck? Oh, I can't actually build anything because my base is full. Which means, uh, da -da -da -da. we're gonna do a dumb. We're gonna do the slow way to build things. Which is capture a camp. Capture a workshop. <laughs> We have to go capture a workshop first. Um, just go go get the cars and trucks from the fairgrounds. Cars and trucks. Those have screws? Desk fans. Desk fans have screws and springs. You already called me out for that already. Um, I thought it was desk fans. There's a lot of desk fans launching nukes. Should we just go launch a nuke? All right, we just gotta clear these guys out. Hello. Sure hope you don't have any friends. Do you have any friends? Do you have any friends? That's a friend. Done. Done, done, done. Okay. While this is running, uh, yes, the toy car toys. Toys. Which is the best fairgrounds to do it? Tyler County or uh, down here, Camden Park? Or like Nuke World. Wherever, new, wherever Nuka World is down here. Um, I don't know. I don't know off the top of my head. No, wait, wait one sec. There we go. All right, we are now gonna build a wall. Must snap to an existing piece. I don't need to snap anything to an existing piece. Here, just make a floor. How many times have I made a floor here? Countless. Alright. Okay. Oh, I can just build floors. I don't have to build walls. Cool. And we'll build a bed. Where are our beds? Where would beds be? Beds, 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 beds. What did it say? Oh, beds. Three beds. Three beds? Is that all we had to do? Eat five pre-war food. Oh, I should have picked it up when I was at my base. We oh, yeah. have fancy snack cakes. We got some cotton candy bites. Uh, popcorn, does popcorn count? Popcorn counts. Popcorn is not pre-war food, but it counts, which is fantastic. We're gonna cripple a Protectron's arm. Uh, Zorn! My stream last week was the highlight of your week? Why, thank you, why, thank you. Which one? We did two. We did three, actually. Which one? Thank you. 
great to hear. We try to we try to stay as positive as we can here. That's why I hate how often I'm in a crummy bad mood and it's like, well, I'm sorry. Sorry, folks, I'm here to try to try to cheer everybody up, but when I'm in a crummy mood, phew, that is just hard to do. Okay, we killed these robots, no problem. No problem. What's up, Strimmer? Um, kill ten human enemies. Well, we can't do it while I'm getting killed by the robots. So let's run over. What in the Excuse me, what is this? Is this somebody's base? What the heck part of... Robco... Bread face, bread face, bread face. I told you, find me the bread. I'll, I'll provide the face. Uh, okay, cool. I, this is wasting time. I don't need to do this. I didn't, this little base right here is... I don't think I've ever been to that little, tiny little base. Tuesday and Wednesday, you missed Saturday. You were at a magic pre-release. <gasps> pre-release for what? Oh, oh, I'm on the edge of the map. Cool, I'm really just trying to hide. So that I can warp over here. Okay, we're gonna go till, kill ten humans over here while I continue to stall on trucks and cars. Tyler County Fairgrounds, Camden Park. Camden Park. I'm feeling Camden Park. I feel like. I feel like that would be better. So we're gonna kill ten humans over here. Ten humans. Where are you? Where are you? One. Hi. You're number two. You get to be number three. Thank you for coming closer. We get two more down here. Wrong Tyler. Yo, Mugs. Mugs, you good? You good? Are you good? How is everybody else doing? How are all of you doing? I hope you're doing well. If you're not doing well, well, don't throw a grenade at your feet. Where is he? Where is he? They're up there. Okay. I think this is the fastest way to get 10 people. I think so. Oh, that one hurt. All right, there's 10 people right there. We're done, we're done, we're done, we're done. Outlaws of Thunder Junction. That doesn't sound like Fallout. That doesn't sound like Fallout at all. Okay, Camden Park. We're gonna go to Camden Park. I'm gonna trust all of you. I sure do hope, look, it's a picture of Eric. I sure do hope. Um, oh, I should write that down. Uh, characters acting. Um, sure do hope you're not feeding me fibs and lies. Tyler has one room if it hasn't been cleaned up. Ah, poop. I chose wrong. Did I chose chose poorly? I chose to poorly. I don't actually know where trucks would be. Ski ball? Are there trucks at the ski ball? Trucks? Kami Wacker? I mean, I'll take the shotgun shells. Take you. Probably not you. Teddy bears, teddy bears, teddy bears. Teddy bears. You know what? I can just get it from their guns, too. Like, if these guys have weapons and drop their weapons, I'll just pick it up from there. Right? Hey, what's up, MP? How's it going? How's it going? All right, YouTube's at least saying there's six people here now. It's like kind of, kind of slowly counting up. Look at all this alcohol. Hey, this looks like a not bad place to farm alcohol. Level up. When was the last time I leveled up in this game? Let me just, let me just triple check my intuition. Come on, put it in the water. Come on, put it in the water. I would have been great on G4 Tech TV. Psh, I do not think so. I don't think so. I'm no Olivia Munn. What are you talking about?
What in the heck? Just let me, what in the whale? This is not working at all. This is not working. This is wasting time. This is absolutely wasting time, folks. Just want to see if anything I picked up counts. Okay, none of those counted. None of those counted. So you're saying Tyler County Fairgrounds and find the one room? There's one room that we're looking for? I'd love to live in the butter tart area of Canada. There is a, there's an official butter tart festival that happens uh, once a year, but it's on the other side of the country. And I keep telling my parents to go, but they're not really that big a fan of, of butter tarts, not nearly as much as I am. I do love, love butter tarts. And where I live right now, oh, pre-war money. I have yet to find phenomenal butter tarts. Okay, mugs, where am I going? I found a couple that are just okay. Uh, they don't deliver and it's about half an hour walk away. Half an, oh, sorry, 45 minutes, 45 minutes. Who, I was gonna say, who is stealing these things? Is Quinn coming to my rescue? Is Quinn, is Quinn directing me? Cause I don't know where I'm going cause I don't know this map good enough. Well enough, good enough. I don't know what I'm doing. Yo, don't you shoot him, my friend. You leave him alone. He's just finding junk. Okay, is it this one? Can't tell, he's running away. I don't see much in here. Quinn for the save? Tokens! Which room? Which room? It's not in the Halloweeny room in the back. It's definitely not there. I am upset about the lack of butter tart deliver delivery service. Always, always, always. Like it's not in the it's not in the pumpkin house back here. That's food. Don't pick up the stuff you don't need. Don't do it. The dog food. You don't need the dog food. There's no screws and chess boards. Yeah, you heard that right. Um. Okay, wait. New dumb idea. Playgrounds. Is he dropping them? What's he doing? Playgrounds. 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 Um. There is a playground right here in Berkeley Springs. Oh, did you, did you? Quinn for the win. Quinn for the win always. Is this my run? No, this is Quinn's run. Why doesn't Quinn get his runs done as quickly as I do? Because... Four to five, baby! <laughs> we need one more! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna run to this this one little spot over here. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Quinn. Thank you, thank you. <sighs> 30 minutes of walking is like a mile and a half distance. I mean, that's far! I have a car. Going up here. We're going up here. Man, this is a slow run today. Nope, nope. Apparently this this load zone is not where you think this load zone is. Apparently you have to run up here yourself. That sounds like work. Come on, game. I am telling folks I don't want to walk and the game is making me walk. What is this? What is this? All right, so there's a little tiny area over here if I am recalling correctly, and I think there should be one. Does that count? Does this count? Does a rocket ship count? Boom, there's my toy truck. Why I remember the one truck that's on that little slide there. I have no clue, that's just, 
you know, the things that your brain ends up remembering. Who knows? Who knows how they get stuck in there? All right, was this the last thing that we had to get done? And fall down the hill, fall down the hill. Great. Boom. No, one more. Oh, dude, we gotta go to the store. Sell a weapon. Um. Dude, can I borrow your wep- Can I borrow your weapon? How about your weapon? <laughs> I need to borrow some weapons. <laughs> oh, this could have been faster. This definitely could have been faster. If I had budget at my base, this could have been faster. If I knew where to find screws, this could have been faster. If I did the same things in the same locations without warping back and forth, this could have been much, much faster. But, alas, it is what it is, Huntress! Boom, there we go, that is time. 1516! 15, 1516 15, to get all eight of our daily chores done. So, we sold five things to, we sold five weapons. We built three beds, five floors, crippled two arms, eight five low fistfuls of popcorn killed 10 enemies and uh thank you quinn we scrapped 10 toys to get screws uh there we go we made it from i don't know rank 20 probably i was only rank 25 up to rank 26 i don't think we actually accomplished much of anything right unlock this page how rank 30 so no i don't know anyways huntress thank you thank you so much I keep jumping around faster than you can give me stuff. Well, yeah, cause like, I'm in a race. I'm winning, I'm winning, I'm in a race. Okay, Zorn, I finally played this game for the first time and just ran around with a baseball bat smacking everybody. Zorn, I highly recommend a slightly different technique. One, join Eric's server. Two, go find the Wakakami, um, like there's like a, a mole, Wakamole. There's like a soft whoop, 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 and then go hit Eric with that one. That one just, it just looks like way, it's way more fun. Um, we had a fun day on stream. It was myself, pal Chris, and Eric, and maybe Leif, where we were all just like wiffle batting each other with the Wakakami bats, uh, and it was so much fun. What's up, Joshua? It was so, so much fun. Uh, yeah, Leif, I don't know what's, I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening. Um, my driver's license is only valid during the months. James, are you spreading misinformation? How dare you spread misinformation? How dare you? How dare you? All right. So we uncovered, we unlocked absolutely nothing new with this, sadly. You love my puppy? Oh, thank you. She's adorable. Excuse me. You're gonna have to look for it this weekend? Actually, I just ran past one right here. Here, I'll run back. I'll run back and show you. Uh, so, we're gonna get into my Fallout TV show non-spoilery review. She is a slippy girl. She is. Uh, she is an old English sheepdog with a little bit of miniature poodle. So, you load up to... Oh, sorry. You're not... You're, like, new to the map. Okay. So, if we zoom out, which I can't do. Uh, apparently, I'm zoomed out. Okay, so in the upper top left part of the map is the big ferris wheel, so warp to the ferris wheel, run down the hill, jump over everything. You don't have frog legs, so your jumps don't go as high. Don't worry, you don't need to jump as high. Um, and go past the basketballs to this room, and pick up this thing, commie whacker. Or this thing, commie whacker. Or probably over here, commie whacker. Pick it up. And hit people with it. Pew, pew, pew. It's great. It's great fun. Great fun right there. Right there. Uh, I do not want it. <laughs> All right, so we are going to, while I, I don't need that gun out, while I am doing some of the weeklies, we're going to briefly talk about um, our Fallout TV show. So I hope 
Miss a bobblehead and a magazine. Uh, okay, pick up the bobblehead. I didn't know about this one. Pick up the bobblehead right here. The magazine, though. The magazine, the magazine, the magazine. The magazine. Nope, I don't know where the magazine is. Where's the magazine? Where's that one? <laughs> is that on top of there, too? Junk. The bear. Put the token. Put the token. Nope, she does nothing. Uh, magazine, magazine, magazine. In the porta potty. Uh, porta potty, porta potty, porta potty, porta potty, porta potties, porta potties are back here. Which one? <laughs> Which one? Hey, look, it's a, it's a giddy up buttercup. Wait, that's got springs in it. Screws, springs, same thing, same thing in my head. Drugs. Okay, not these ones. Nope. We're just gonna inspect all the- Yay! Cool! I didn't know this one was here. Uh, Tesla Science 4. Plus 15% fusion core duration. Don't use it. Don't use fusion cores. Uh, but hey, that actually is pretty good for any time when we need to, um, find magazines. This, I feel like, is a pretty obscure one that maybe folks might not actually know about, so you'd have a better chance of it actually still being there when you go and look for it. So I like that one. That's a good location. Uh, alright, so build 25 anythings. Collect teddy bears. Dude, somebody, somebody should have yelled at me right beforehand. Um, okay, we can do all of these weeklies are great. These are good weeklies. So there's a teddy bear right over here. Let's collect this one, and then we're going, we're going literally right back to where we just were. All right, so Fallout TV show. This is my official review as a Fallout fan, as number one Fallout 76 streamer on YouTube gaming. Uh, as somebody who's been playing the games for years and years, caveat, have not played one, I've not played two, I've not played Tactics, but I've played a lot of three, played a lot of New Vegas, i played a lot of four, and I am over 600 hours in 76 right now. I have watched all of the Fallout TV series. Uh, this is going to be my non-spoilery review. Uh, we're going to stay away from spoilers as much as we can, and uh, maybe right after this we will we'll do a little bit, a little, little, little bit of spoilers. How's that sound? Overall, what did I think about the show? I thought it was pretty good. My expectations were met. Uh, they actually did better than uh, what I thought. They beat. Definitely, definitely beat my expectations. I went in with extremely low expectations. You, I'm sure, have, uh, if you're watching this channel, you seem to like video games. There have been a whole slew of terrible, terrible, terrible video game adaptations uh, converting video games into TV shows and or movies. And most of them are absolutely terrible. If you think back to the uh, early 2010s, if you're uh, familiar at all with the... Um, the Wii Bowl, Uwe, sorry, the o Uwe Bowl movies of uh, just a whole series of really, what in the heck, really, really terrible video game adaptations. So despite how good The Last of Us TV show was, I really had um, pretty low, pretty low expectations, but they were met. They were overshot. I recommend this show with a couple caveats here and there. Uh, so we will start off with the world building, the setting, the scenery, the costumes, the visuals. It feels so, so accurate. So accurate. That is one of the things that I found was just the most delightful about watching the show was seeing all of the, not even the lore bits, but just seeing all of the world building, seeing things like all of these teddy bears, seeing the the different foods that people eat, um, all of like the stim packs and how they are used, seeing the junk towns and how they are constructed, all of the different areas that you that the the top characters went into just felt so very Fallout. The costumes 
felt so very Fallout. The Vault Dweller suits, the the Raiders, the the Junk Town people, the the NCR Rangers. Yeah, <laughs> non spoilers, non spoilers. The NCR Rangers in like episode seven or eight, and you're like, that is an NCR Ranger just by looking at the characters. You didn't, you didn't like. You didn't have to know anything about them. You just kind of look at them. And you're like, oh, what? That's in there. Wait, that's cool. That was so cool. Um, I was so pleasantly surprised. I can't imagine how much they spent on uh, sort of practically recreating such core parts of Fallout. Uh, I talked about this in my review of the first episode, but the vaults themselves are just so phenomenally accurately detailed. Caveat the little, the mailboxes. I'm not familiar with mailboxes in vaults, but I think from a practical perspective, it makes sense to have them. Um, but I watched some behind the scenes of how they actually were recreating the vaults, just like physically as set pieces. And they even went down to the level of detail of, that's what I'm looking for. And you went down to the level of detail of, there's a particular bolt shape in the hallways. And like the funky bolt shapes are accurate. So if you do screen by screen, if you take a, a screen look of um, a, a, just a picture of this the vault setting in the TV show and you do the same side by side of like any vault in a follow game, the details are, the, are just so identical there. So identical. So I think they just, they hit it out of the ballpark when it comes to got it uh when it comes to sort of the the world building and uh all of the work that they did there um there's really nothing that i feel like uh i could fault uh there's nothing that in terms of the world building that i looked at and was like mm, well well actually um actually this would be this would look like this or this would work in this way it looked great uh, similarly, so much about the Fallout world, I should probably not be playing music right now, uh, is the Fallout music. The Fallout music. Uh, the 1950s, uh, types of, here, let me just turn it on. Let me just turn on Where's Rose. Or not. There we go. There we go. So these 1950s theme songs, all of the songs from uh, Fallout 3 and from Fallout 4's uh, official soundtrack were in. Uh, they were, oh, I'm gonna get this wrong, right? I'm gonna totally get this wrong. They were all there and they were all sort of perfectly timed. So there's a song uh, that talks about an orange colored sky that conveniently played right before the nukes dropped, and then the whole sky went orange. Uh, there was a nice book ending in particular with that song where the series started on that song and then ended also on that song. And so there was a nice starting and ending uh, book, book ending um, with that song in particular. Um, all, but all of the songs, even songs that I was less familiar with, they still definitely fit the vibe of um, they fit the vibe of what, uh, I would expect to be in this type of a game. Gosh dang it. These are my teddies. You go away. Last time this happened, I lost all the teddies. No, ah, we lost all the teddies again! Ah, so when frog legs really screws you over. Okay, look for the teddy, look for the teddy. There's a teddy. Gosh dang it. How is he in the air? Why is this a, fl a flying rad scorpion? Oh yeah, I mean, so going, going back to, going back to the, wow, the scenery. So the, the show was set in 
Oh, that's a teddy. Is that a teddy? That's not a teddy. That is a teddy. Done. Uh, the show was set in um, Los Angeles area and the environs. There was some stuff like a little... Well, technically, if you look back at the maps of Shady Sands, they're actually not in California. They actually are um, a little bit in that state over there. I don't know what that state is. Colorado? Colorado touch California? Like north of Nevada? Kind of, sort of? Is where Shady Sands was supposed to be? Whatever, but the show put Shady Sands in to, like, beside L.A. It's fine. It's Who cares? Who cares? It's fine. Um, so the audio. I thought the audio was, was absolutely fantastic. Also, the sound effects. Completely spot on. So there's a moment where um, uh, one of the main characters, Lucy, is wearing her Pip-Boy, and she starts hearing that little radiation tick, 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 that you hear so much in this game. Anytime you get close to something that is irradiated, the sound effects were identical to what you would expect in the game, to what you would hear in a game. When the vault doors were opening, just such classic, uh, classic sounds and all of that, that it was just absolutely spot on. So it all just goes back into sort of reinforcing and rebuilding sort of the, or building up the lore of all of these worlds and just making it really feel like it was a really accurate representation of what we experience by playing all of these games for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hours. Colorado has two states. Hey, hey, I'm Canadian. I don't know America. I don't know. I don't know these things. All right, so uh, moving on to uh, to the story. So I'm going to talk about sort of story and characters all all together in one. Oh, gosh dang it. Um, so the teaser and trailer materials really featured focused around three main characters. Mission, praise the Lord, and pass. What are you doing, dude? He's not even on the map. Dude, this guy's not even on the map. Cool, so I need to go capture somewhere else. Uh, let's do up here. Um, okay, so story and character. So, all of the promotional materials really focus around three main characters. Lucy, who's a vault dweller. The ghoul, who is a 250-year-old ghoul. Non-feral ghoul. And Maximus, a member of the Brotherhood of Steel. Starts as an aspirant, turns into a scribe, kind of sort of turns into a knight. Brotherhood of Steel. I actually would argue there are four main characters. And there are four main storylines in this series. And, so, and if you have uh, watched it, I wonder if you might agree with me that Norman had his own pretty detailed main storyline that was very independent from everything that was happening with the other three characters. And so I, I you know, I feel like Norman should get more, more, more recognition for what he did, in my humble opinion, the Norman storyline was the strongest by far. It was the one that was the most interesting to me. Uh, Norman is Lucy the Vault Dweller's brother. Not the father. The father is Hank. Uh, no, so uh, Norman has what I would say, so I didn't analyze it, but I would say likely just as much screen time as Maximus or the ghoul and um, so we didn't get a ton of backstory about you know Norman's childhood and what his motivations are and who he is as a person sure we didn't get any of that but in terms of the the time that he spent showing his storyline to us as watchers it was equally as much as um, as other folks so uh, I actually would say there are four main characters and four main storylines and Norman's was by far the most interesting. Um, I am intentionally staying vague about the details about Norman's uh, storyline, but he is a vault dweller and he is Lucy's brother. And I'm just going to end it there. Lucy is a vault dweller who um, uh, ends up leaving the vault. That is pretty obvious from all of the promotional materials. She eventually 
leaves the vault and goes out and adventures. And uh, what's nice about Lucy is so many of the games that we play, we start out as uh, vault dwellers. And so she is kind of the character who you can empathize the most with if you are familiar with playing the game. Uh, then we get the ghoul, who is uh, 250 years old. Uh, he used to be an old cowboy movie star way back in the day, and then the bombs fell, and dun-dun-dun, somehow he turned into a ghoul. And somehow he just has been able to live out for such a long time. There we go. Such a long time um, out there in the wasteland, been able to survive and figure out how to make it work. He's pretty awesome. Uh, he's got a really cool skill set. Um, he is able to kill a whole ton of people. It's clear that he's been fending for his life for such a long time out in the wasteland, and he definitely has a lot of um, a lot of survival skills, I would say. Then we get on to Maximus, who is what seems to be the internet's least favorite character. I'm sorry, Maximus, but. Your storyline, not that interesting. Your your backstory, your motivations, you as a character, not really that compelling. Your acting, so the actor in particular, not not a fan. Not a fan. Um, some people on our Discord were talking a lot about Hayden Christensen. So you know how Hayden Christensen was kind of like a piece of cardboard and didn't know how to act? probably still doesn't know how to act um in all the star wars movies and like he got a ton of gripe where he was like oh no i'm so upset the women and the children and you're like you don't look that upset dude cool that's kind of maximus too that he just acts poorly in my humble opinion through the entire entire series um i also i it, and where i struggle is i can't tell whether it's his acting only or whether it is sort of the bad writing and the bad character because he sort of starts off as this like sniveling type of guy who just gets picked on and then he's got a chip on his shoulder and you really don't empathize and feel for him at all because he doesn't seem to do anything redeemable that you're like oh yeah he's a good guy you kind of spend most of the series thinking like this dude is questionably bad sort of but also just lame um and one of the things is, so, he is a part of the, let me just figure out what I want to drink. He is a part of the Brotherhood of Steel, but he's only part of them not because he is aligned with, like, the Brotherhood of Steel's faction and their goals and their motivations around sort of saving and preserving pre-war technology. He joined up with the Brotherhood of Steel just because, like, he thought they looked cool. And he just wanted to look like them and he just want to wear power armor. And so, like, from a, you know, the games really have us focused, have, have been focusing us around, hey, there's all these different factions for you to go understand who they are, why their backstories are really interesting, and you align yourself with these various different factions depending on what, like, resonates with the character you are playing. And then here we have a character who, like, is kind of just with them because he just wants to look cool. He's not with them because, like, of what the Brotherhood is trying to accomplish. That's a legitimate reason? I mean, fine. I'm just saying. I'm just gonna judge you a little bit. I'm just gonna judge you. He's a fridge kid. He is a fridge kid. And whoever called me out last stream where we were talking about Billy the fridge kid in the game. And I was like, that's from New Vegas. No, you're totally right. It was not from New Vegas. Billy the fridge kid um, was definitely from Fallout 4. So I was wrong. You were right. Per usual. Usual. Da, 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 da. Uh, yeah, we'll do some cherries. Um, one of the things I really appreciated when we watched episode two, episode two, um, Eric, I don't know if you were lurking while we were watching episode two, um, but Eric made a cameo, which I found absolutely hilarious. Uh, we all know from playing Fallout 76, uh, Eric's character has, uh, really just doesn't seem to enjoy wearing pants. And there was a character in episode two of just a person out there in the wasteland, clueless about everything, not wearing pants. And I just really appreciated how much it felt like, oh, they put, they put so much care. Oh, it's, this isn't a spoiler. This isn't a spoiler. The little man in the diaper who's trying to turn sand into water and he's wearing he's not wearing any pants. 
the second I saw him, I'm like, they put Eric in the game, in the, in the, in the TV show. This is great. Did I drink? Oh my gosh, we got three more to drink. Three more to drink. So I found that to be funny. I also liked all of the, the different side characters. The NPCs. I liked the writing in terms of how NPC-like they were. So as uh, Maximus and Lucy were walking through the junk town, and there were people like, buy this, buy this, do this, do this. And they just felt very NPC. The different random encounters, like the, um, the guy who was screwing chickens. That little encounter that happens, um, that just felt very much... Uh, very much like, oh, you're just like wandering the wasteland and you're coming upon these two NPCs who are fighting over something and you're just intervening where you do not belong because that's what you do in the game. They did it in the TV show to a, um, to a detriment. They were not helping society. They actually were making things worse. Um, uh, what? Are we still not done? There we go. They were making things worse. Um, so all of those little touches just really help to reinforce, like, yeah, this is, like, this really just feels like what I would be playing in a game. Doing what to chickens now? Yeah, he was screwing chickens. And the chicken farmer was very upset. Very upset. Uh, so, going back to the story, though, I think the story was sort of on par with what you should expect from a Fallout series and or game. The stories, let's be honest, are not the most interesting with the most like oh my god is that where we're going it's not like game of thrones level writing here folks it's not baldur's gate three level writing it's kind of you know just the normal fallout type of you know you have some motivation to leave a vault and or benny shoots you in the head and uh you need to go and and like Find a MacGuffin, where a MacGuffin might be a person or a water-fixing thing, and then you find them. But then once you find them, dun-dun-dun, there's like a very small twist that actually doesn't matter for much of anything. So, I would say the, the, the story of the- the overarching story of the show mimicked what you get out of the game, but I would say it was- it didn't- it wasn't particularly compelling to me. Uh, I mentioned this in my uh, review of the first episode, but it kind of, you know, it continued through all of the other episodes. I would finish an episode and kind of say, like, well, there's no big cliffhanger. There's no big, like, oh my god, I have to, like, immediately start binge-watching the next episode because I have to see what happens in this thing. There was kind of none of that. There were some superfluous characters who you thought were going to be big, but ended up not really being too big. Just saying. Um, thought was going to be in there a whole lot more than actually was in there. What happened to that? Um, so there were a couple of characters like that. Really enjoyed seeing Dogmeat in there. Um, Dogmeat started out being called CX-404. Um, his official scientific experiment name. And then was once called Dogmeat by the ghoul. Which was uh, very nice. Harkening back to uh, your companions in some of the games. So that was really nice. Um, do I, there aren't any over here, are there? <laughs> you shall be sidetracked. Yes, of course. Here, we'll just, we'll just start this on just to get some scorch down here. Or not, or not, or not. Well, where? Uh, five scorched. We need five scorched. Um, yeah, so the overall story was like, meh, even the, so, I mean, the, the show ends in a pretty interesting place, um, but even where it ends, yeah, I'm interested and excited for, there we go, there's one, uh, for the next season, but it's also not, like, Game of Thrones level, oh my god! This is like, there's just so much that's going on. It just felt like the scope was just smaller and less intense. Oh, geez, that's a good way to die. Don't fall in the green holes, because then you're definitely, definitely, definitely going to die. I saw somebody over here. 
Can I lodge my- No, you can't- You can't because I'm not done yet. You can when I'm finished. What in the- Why are there people here? That is a feral ghoul reaver. I don't want this. I want Scorch. You. Nope. You're still not right. What the Wendigo was that? That sounded like a Wendigo, didn't it? Hmm. I appear. I've gotten myself into a pickle. A pickle of death. A pickle of death. Um, okay. Authenticity to the game. So I've already touched on this, but holy heck, it was... I would say near 100% authentic to, to the games from all aspects. The tone, the satire, the way that it joked about all sorts of things that like you wouldn't expect TV, sh uh, Fox, you wouldn't expect TV shows to joke about, you know, like incest. It was just like, yeah, that's just, that's just a thing. Uh, just a thing in the vault, so it's just how that goes. Thank you, Harvey. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I will, I will, remind me, I will come back to that. Um, but yeah, it, just the, the off-the-tongue type of humor that you just come to really appreciate in the games was fully, fully part of, um, the, uh, the shows. Uh, scorched, folks. Scorched, scorched. We need two more. Where to find Scorched? Sorry, I'm like, duh, back over here. Um, there might be a Wendigo? Yeah, it sounded like a Wendigo. Um, one of the things I really appreciated was, uh, so, you know how much I love my junk. You know how much I definitely love my junk. Um, what's very common in Fallout games is you have a companion, and uh, they often are just there to be your junk mule. They're just trailing along behind you and you're just shoving them with all of the junk so you can double your total carrying capacity so you don't have to be over encumbered. Well, if you realize, if you think about the... Oh. Yoink. Oh, this was the, this was the other playground I was thinking of. Alright, we'll get two, I think we should be able to get two in the middle of this, right? Yeah, there's one. Um... If you think back to the show, if you've watched it, um, there is a cool setup where the uh, the Brotherhood of Steel Knights have companions. And those companions have comically sized bags. And those bags are actually bigger than the people carrying them. Just massive duffel bags that just seem to have every bit of junk in them that anybody could possibly need as you're going out and venturing through the wasteland. And I just love like little subtle things like that. Just even more go to sort of reiterate the lore of the game. And I found myself chuckling when I was when I like figured out what really was going on there. I was like, oh, that's just your companion junk mule. That's why the bag is so comically big and in like completely impractical um, in there. Uh, so we will, though, we will, as we were talking about, um, sell a missile launcher. Oh, that shouldn't be that bad. Complete, wait, complete some events. Anything on? Well, let's go see. Is anybody else? Okay, wait, I just want to take a look at the events. Feral Ghoul Horde, that's not that bad. Liberator Horde, that's not too bad, that's pretty quick. Ooh, 208 plans! Alright, let's go see what he has for sale. Um, so, this retcon, this big retcon. And like, you know I don't really play games so much for story. It's more for the experience. But, this is the high level summary about why the internet is up in arms about... Oh my gosh, did the TV show make... the entire game of Fallout New Vegas moot. Like, did it retcon New Vegas out of, this is a cool bending machine, out of canon. Because of one little date on one blackboard that happened to get a little bit of airtime. What's up, Patrick? How's it going? Grant, good to see you. Good to see you. Yeah, it's a date 
that kind of doesn't make sense, but it has the whole internet of Fallout fans up in arms. And these are my two cents on it. So, um, this is, I'm not going to spend this much money on these things. This is, in particular, talking about, is anybody, no, it's just one person. Um, the fall of Shady Sands. So, Shady Sands is, was, will be, <laughs> um, the capital city of the new California Republic. Um, it is a pretty major city. It is like a major location in uh, Fallout 1, is my understanding. It's referenced a whole bunch in uh, Fallout New Vegas. Um, but this date on a blackboard seems to indicate that Shady Sands in particular was nuked in the year 2277. But how could that be? Because Fallout New Vegas was set in 2281, so four years later, and it references Shady Sands still existing. So how on the TV show could you have it being nuked at a date four years before in the game People are referencing it still existing. Dun, dun, dun. There's other things. That, so, like, some folks are saying, oh, the date that's on the board was a mistake. They should have put a different date on the board. Well, if you actually look through some of the credits, one of the credit scenes in particular. Uh, did that count as an event? That did. Oh, I'm too over-encumbered. Speaking of over-encumbered. Um... There's a, a scene during the credits that shows like, library cards. Um, uh, sorry, you know, like, you used to take take library books out. You'd get, like, the, you'd take the card out of the back. Not your card that you swipe, but you'd take the little card out of the back. And you'd, like, have the date in your name. And, like, that's how you checked out books way back in the day. It had one of those, one of those little library cards and for Shady Sands Library, and all of the dates ended in November of 2276, seemingly indicating that, like, the library stopped existing and functioning at the start of 2077 when the nukes were dropped. Um, I don't, I, I don't particularly care. I, I feel like... Let me just think for a hot second. We need to do a little bit of ma ma managing my junk. Um, I don't know whether somebody just accidentally made a tiny little mistake here or there. Hmm. Now should I should I stack up? I should. Okay, we're gonna keep screws. Um, screws and circuitry. We're gonna keep. Heck. Um. Oh, poop. Can't I can't do two things at once. I can't do my junk and my Did somebody accidentally screw up? Yeah, maybe. Who knows? Um, do I think that somebody intentionally wanted to like wipe an entire game from being canon? I don't think so. I do I do really hope that I don't know, Todd someone, Todd, Pete, I don't know, someone, someone should come onto Reddit and just say, just like answer it for us. Either you made a mistake with the date or you intentionally meant to like disregard the game that Bethesda didn't make that Obsidian made, but like Bethesda owns all the rights to it anyway. So like, it's not one of those things. Okay. I just, I find it hard to imagine the level of detail that the, the whoever's, the writers, the world builders and everything, the level of detail that they went to on 99.99999% of the show, and then for something, given the amount of airtime and zoom-in time there was on this timeline and these dates, like, I just, I find it odd that they would have made a mistake this big. What am I overreacting about? I'm not overreacting. I'm trying to explain why the internet is overreacting. I don't actually care about the dates. I think it's fine. I don't think it means anything. I'm just trying to explain um, why other people are upset. That's it. I think it's fine. Did you guys start yet? Nope, it's only one person. They're not going to start with one person. You can't do it with one person. Um... So anyways, that that's that's a TLDR. There's like there's other little nitpicks that people have with with the lore here and there. Something about the NCR 
and the NCR being wiped out due to the first battle of the Hoover Dam, and it's fine. It's fine. The NCR will likely be more of a part of season two. Okay, it's fine. Don't worry about it, folks. Don't worry about it on the internet. Um, feral ghoul, feral ghoul, feral ghoul. Let's just go down here. Mr. Let's do this one first. Hey, hey, hey. So, fine. Was it authentic? I think it was pretty authentic to the game lore, and I was pretty happy about that. Um, what was, dude, what is this scribble? Oh, what was missing? What was missing? There are, that's my horde. There are a few things that were missing that would have made this 10 out of 10 infinitely better. But they weren't there, and how dare they not be there if this is a Fallout game. There are a couple of things that, in my humble opinion, you should have had. You alluded to them. You alluded to them, but you didn't have them. And so, to me, it were missing. One, death claws. There was no death claw. And death claws are so critically part of this game. I just technically they didn't have Mireworks either. But death claws are just so like so fallout. There wasn't a death claw. There was a skull of a death claw. Seemingly indicating that season two there will be death claws. Um, there was also some imagery around some scratched up robots. Scratched by a death claw. But it wasn't in this season. And it was missing. Number two that was missing was a super mutant and or a nightkin. Don't care. Pick one. Gotta have at least one. Take a centaur too while you're at it. Um, there were no super mutants. And super mutants are such, such big parts of, of the game. Like, it's... Like, if you think, like, Fallout 1 is all about making super mutants, kind of, sort of. Fallout 3 and Fallout 4, you can't do anything without the super mutant saving you from radiation. Like, they're so core to the stories, and there was no super mutant. We got a slight picture of a hand, and it looked a little dark, and it could have been a super mutant, but it wasn't. Yeah. Well, it might. It might have been a hand. It might... I actually would say it looked more blue than green, so it looked more nightkin than super mutant. But those were the two things that just would have put it just a little over over the top for me and that that would have done it i was looking forward to that i really kind of wanted to see what it would be like or how they would uh sort of bring those uh characters into into these worlds yeah yes jimmy's saying hey it was a fast eight episodes it was and it was super comprehensive from like all other perspectives so am i nitpicking with these yes but if you're asking me hey you know what would have made this even better, yeah, a little super mutant. Just a little, just a little, or even ref reference, reference. Talk about some of the core super mutants out there, like Fox or something, something, or Lily. Oh, did you move? Did you move? There we go. There we go. Is it video time now? It's almost video time. I'm almost done. Um, so I'm almost done. I'm wrapping up. I'm wrapping up because we're gonna go play a different game. Um, but I'm trying to figure out why I'm so over-encumbered. Well, we're just going to use one of these. I definitely finished this event, so why is it still showing up? I guess I moved on to the other event. Um, so, how would I compare this to The Last of Us? I think... Oh, what are you saying, Popo? -po? What are you saying? Sorry, sorry, dog break. Dog break. What are you saying, Popo? -po? Hey. Look at this crazy hair. She pulled her hair tie out. You know a little hair tie? After our walk today, she just pulled it out. She just leaves them all over the place. Yeah, that's why she looks... This is why I say she looks like Einstein when her hair's like this. Because it's all like white and gray and flopping all over her face. Okay, well, she's done. She's done. Would a cameo be a spoiler? Uh, I think cameos are fine. Cameos are fine. I don't think that's a real spoiler. Are you talking about Cog Cogsworth guy? Um, how does this compare to Last of Us? I think I was more emotionally moved 
by The Last of Us. This is not bad. Is this bad? This is not bad. Don't need it. Don't need it. Don't need it. Want to keep it. Don't need it. This is not that bad. Do I have room? Who just drops off good junk like that? Do I have room? Dude, I have four pounds of room. I don't have room. I don't have room. It's 15 pounds. No! No. I don't think I need Hunky Hunk anymore, do I? I'm going to swap my Hunky Hunk for, for this guy. Cool. Um, did I get my free Fallout first? I did get my free Fallout first. Thanks, Bethesda. Um, so I actually think I likely enjoyed... The Last of Us more than I enjoyed the Fallout show. I think from like a, a compelling story, um, w like extremely well acted, really rich depth, like depth of characters, the backstories of, of what we got, the additional backstories that we got in the TV show above and beyond what we got in the game, particularly around uh, Bill and Frank, Bill and Ted, Bill and his bud. Um, like that is one of the most moving episodes of television I think I have ever ever seen was the Bill and Ted, Bill and Frank, Bill and Fred, whatever his name is. It was so moving, okay? Absolutely, absolutely so moving. And I think this show, so Muggs mentioned this um, elsewhere. My top concern is if you're a fan of this show, I think you are loving it. I think, or sorry, if you're a fan of the game and the game series, I think you are loving this show. Uh, I think there's very little that you could fault here. I know, Popo. Because um, it is just, it is authentic to the materials down to a T. Caveat this date nonsense. There's very little for you to, uh, for you to fault. We do not, why do we have this much? Um, but... If you were not a fan of the video game series, I could only imagine how confused you would be watching through this. You know, like, why are these people living under the ground? Why is it that you can just jack yourself with a stim pack and you're just auto-magically healed no matter what the heck is going on? All of the nuances and the intricacies of the Fallout world, that kind of just don't make any sense, but we come to just, to, we're just, we know and we love them. I can only imagine if you did not know and love them. And, uh, and you're trying to watch the show. What I do think Fallout has going for it that Muggs is, is reminding me is the fun aspect. It was a fun, enjoyable TV show. If we were comparing The Last of Us to Fallout, Last of Us was like, oh my god, that was emotionally wrench wrenching. I am just, I feel it. Fallout, I didn't feel anything emotionally other than excitement around like, oh my god, this world is so cool. They did this thing and looked at that character. Oh! It's so cool. But I wasn't feeling any any heavy duty emotions. Definitely not. Um so it was fun. It was light. It was light humor. And that's one of the things that I love so much about Fallout 76. That's why this was my pandemic game. If I am stressed out over something and I just want to tune out, turn my brain off. Fallout 76 is a great way to be able to do that. These games have helped me through such difficult times in my life. Oh man, people did show up. Uh, and I liked, I really did like that aspect. And that, once again, just made it, oh, hey, wall arm, it's fine. That made it um, just even more accurate to the games there. So, did I enjoy it? Yes! I mostly enjoyed it for all of the game references and how accurate it was. That really, really, really... Yeah, this is a comedy. All of the blood, guts, and gore. All of the post-apocalyptic wastelands. All of the nukes. This is a comedy, folks! This is a comedy. Hey, Rook Rabbit. Dang it, why are you still awake? Because you're here hanging out with us, James. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye, James. Goodbye. So...
Long way for me to, to say. I quite enjoyed it. I am looking forward to season two. Very much looking forward to season two. Probably less looking forward to season two as I would like a Game of Thrones when we were in it. And I compare it back to Game of Thrones because, Harvey, I'm going back. I am going back. I compare it to Game of Thrones because for me, and I was, I didn't watch Game of Thrones when it came out. I only started watching it during the pandemic. That was my pandemic binge show. I feel as though Game of Thrones is, is, has been, will likely be for a very long time, best ever possible TV series. I have yet to watch anything and hadn't seen anything like that before. I haven't seen anything that tops it since then. And so that is where I have, that, that's my gold standard. That is my gold standard up there. Uh, and, uh, Fallout kind of doesn't really compare. Yo, what you doing? Get out. Get out. I've never watched Avatar The Last Airbender. It's true. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are all these super chats up here? Gosh dang it, YouTube. <sighs> Anybody else have three ticker chips up there? Or is that just me? Is it just me? It just me. All right, Harvey. Thank you. Thank you so much for the super chats. What ads are this? Are these? Most of the time, video game developers go out of their way to make you listen to the voice acting. Because I mean, come on. Fallout 3's console command menu, enter the forbidden code that turns off object clipping, and you can float hackily upwards towards and onto the inaccessible platform. Up on this remote perch, you discover the name of Megaton's loneliest guard is Stockholm. And you wouldn't expect an NPC that is not accessible to have any voice lines, of course, let alone voice lines that are a joke. The more time I spend talking to you, the less I'm spending watching for raiders. This poor dude! How the hell did you get up here anyway? Did you see the dude floating around in the sky and then landing right in front of you and then talking to you? Well, that was me. Oh, Yo, that poor dude. Oh, Harvey, thank you. Let's hope, let's hope I'm not dying in the background. I don't cry? No, I don't cry. These, these, these tear ducts, they don't work. They don't work. They don't work. They don't do that. I ain't get, I ain't get time for crying. Crying's not productive. I don't cry? No, I don't cry. These, these, these tear ducts. Man, I miss that setup. This format's garbage. I want, I want this setup. This setup was way better. Way better. My, my crazy dog agrees. Look at what my crazy dog's doing. What are you doing there, Popo? You, you do get a lot more Pokemon on, on these, in this format, though. Uh, Harvey, thank you. I agree. Um... Crying is for chumps. Emotions are for wussies. <laughs> you just made my day. Anyway, so, that was a very long, that was longer than I wanted my review to be nine minutes. Um, that was a very long discussion of my thoughts on the Fallout TV show. You folks kind of peppered through your opinions as I was going, but I want to hear from, from a high level. You digging it? Not digging it. If you haven't watched it yet, why not? Why not? What are you even doing? No, I hate the I hate the vertical setup. I've said this before. I've said that before. I've told you it was the future, so it is what we have to do. It's kind of like skating. You know, skating's cool every now and then. But when you start, you're like, man, why are these skates so uncomfortable? I guess this is kind of just par for the course. You have to shove my foot in this uncomfortable skate in order to go skating. I was like, yeah, I guess I gotta shove my content in this uncomfortable skate in order for me to stream. That's just what it is. I have never said I hate it. Why are we in it? It's the future. Look at how many people we have watching us. It is the future. Oh no, my legs are broken. It, 
it was great. Who's my favorite character so far? Norm. Um, Norm is Norm is by far my favorite character. Uh, Norm, Betty, uh, pregnant lady, Shelby, Sharon, Sue. One second. Do I even want to know? Man, I always think she's guilty of something. No, nope, she's just throwing her own balls around. No, she wasn't. No, she was. She has a little, a little puffer, a little puffer ball, and she's just like she puts it in her mouth and she goes, Whoop! and she throws it, and then she catches it, and then she does it again. She was, she was doing what she should do. If I turn chat on the other one, I bet it would get more viewers. But we don't want more viewers over there in the past. We want more viewers here in the future. The future. Excuse you. Excuse you. Could you please not eat that plant? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, the future. We must live in the future. Don't live in the past. Where are the robots? Dude, is this person... I'm not playing. They're also not playing. <laughs> they are not playing. All right, we're going to switch over to Mario Wonder right after this. I just want to get this one weekly done. All right. That's exactly the goal that I wanted to achieve. We made it up to rank 30. So we got done all eight of the daily chores and we got done a big chunk of the weekly chores. My goal for getting the weekly chores done was to do, 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 unlock the new board. So we needed level 30, rank 30 for us to be able to um, uh, open up this. What is, wait, not this one. This one. This one. Sex bot. Got the sex bot, folks. Got her. Three more rerollers. Score boost. Is there anything else that we want here? Not really. Not really, folks. One second. She's digging a hole in my carpet. Hey, big girl. What are you doing? Yeah, we're gonna do the sprint. We're gonna do the sprint, Okay? Oh, you can't do that. You can't do that on the internet. I've already told you you can't do that on the internet, big girl. Are you gonna waggle your tail at me? You waggling at me? You wanna say hi? You wanna say hi to everybody? Hello, internet. Hello. <laughs> I am Einstein. Look at I am the Einstein dog. Can you see anything? I don't think you can see nothing. No, you can't. Are you opening my ball? <laughs> Look at her just slumping down. She's like, do I have to? Do I have to sit here? She's not massive. She's my tiny baby. She's my baby. Okay, there you go. There you go. There you go, big girl. There you go. Okay, are we gonna switch games? Are we gonna go play Mario? Can we go play Mario? <laughs> She's not happy at all. <laughs> she is not happy at all. Why don't I buy her cat grass? What the heck is? Why do I need cat grass for my dog? All right, should we go put sex bot in our base or should we just go play Mario? Yeah, what did you just hear what I said? Yes. Yes, baby. I hope that guy's not waiting to talk to me. Safe and sound. What is Oh, that's boring. Hi. Nope, he is just as AFK as I am. 
All right, six bucks. Wait, she has a quest? She's a light ally. She doesn't have a quest, does she? Okay, okay, we'll do her- we'll do the sex bot quests next time. That'll make for some good- some good clickbait in our, uh, in our title. I looked it up, Trivia Bot was wrong. Trivia Bot probably is- Barbot's probably always wrong. Uh, Beckett! You still hiding back here? Oh, no. Um... But, oh, Becky got naked. Um, allies. Sex spot, sex spot, sex spot. Here, would it be in new? Nope. This is kind of like the comically sized bag that the companions had in the TV show. Yasmin, Zerzo, no, no. No, Catherine, Adelaide, Adelaide. Dude, why are you following me? Oh. All right, my base is too full. My base belongs to not me. Hey, Papa! <sighs> She's digging a hole. She's digging a hole. She's digging a hole. I know! I know! But what are you doing? Why are you gonna do that? Why are you gonna do that, Papa? Why are you gonna dig a hole in the floor? You need another base? I have other bases. She had a hard time finding my ditch? No. Oh, I've got plenty of parking. Okay, cool. Okay, we will do her quest line next time. Next time, next time, next time. All right. Well, she she does realize I look like this. <laughs> Poe isn't that big or Barbara's just strong. She's 45 pounds. She's nothing. I go to the gym so I can lift my dog. her but, oh no oh no am i playing fortnite oh no do it strict or it doesn't count yeah you gotta do it strict or it doesn't count yeah just doing my bicep curls just doing bicep curls all right well we got done um like I said, all the dailies, all the week, mo five, five at 11 of the weeklies. Uh, we were able to climb from uh, rank 25 up to rank 30. And uh, hey, big girl, what are you doing? What are you doing? So that is it for the first half of the stream. We're going to switch on over to Mario Wonder. It's been months, weeks since I have uh, since I've played that one. So I wanted to pop back in, in and do the Nintendo thing. Although it looks like... Hold, please. It actually looks like it doesn't matter. Something funky is happening tonight where we are not... We're not getting the distribution that I would expect. It's not working. The future... Let me see. Hour and a half. Hour and a half. Two, 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 four. Two two four two two four two two four. We should have forty percent more views by now. Oh yeah. 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Harvey. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So I don't. Yeah, I don't know what's. I don't know what's going on tonight. We're not getting. We're not getting what we usually get. I don't know. We will. We'll switch anyways. Okay. Quit. 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 Thank you, Fallout. You were fun for a bit. Uh, you were fun for a bit. Now let me open up my 4K. We can do this. Uh oh, something's frozen. There we go. Just give it a hot second. Yes, a big girl. Uh oh. Boop, 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 boop. Oh wait, I was doing I had I have a whole Mario No, nah, we'll just stick down here and fall out. We'll stick down here and fall out land. I don't even know what I was doing, Tears of the Kingdom. Hi, big girl. Hi, big girl. What are you doing? What are you doing down here? Full screen. We should still have. Nope, we got the wrong order. Give me a sec. There we go. That looks a little better, doesn't it? All right, who's ready for some of the best platforming skills you have ever seen on YouTube gaming? Needed to stream episode three? Wait, how come? How come? You wanted me to you wanted me to co-watch even more? Dude, YouTube is yelling at me so much. YouTube's like, what are you doing? Globally block this video. <laughs> stream episode episode six so I can complain about it. Okay, Quinn. Quinn, Quinn, Quinn. What? Do you, what are you dissatisfied about with respect to episode six? Do I even remember episode six? Which, bum, 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 bum. episode six, episode six, episode six, episode six, Amazon Prime, which one was that? Oh, stream episode three for the view hits? Mm. Mm. The trap. Wait, why do we hate why do we hate that one? That one was I mean it wasn't the best episode. But it wasn't the worst. Was it the worst? It wasn't the worst. Phil just finished the finale. That was some good TV and I've never played more than an hour of Fallout game. Well, I just did an hour long review of it, Phil. We broke down the world building, the audio, the story, the characters, the authenticity to the game, including the big retcon controversy. Um, things that I was missing that I wanted to see. Um, wait, why am I using mouse and keyboard? We have stopped. Episode six was a pointless filler, and it robbed them of the opportunity to show us what happened in Sh Shady Sands, Sandy Springs, Shady Sands. Um, yeah, but we got to see a lot of naked people. Doesn't that count for anything? <laughs> Doesn't that count for anything? I mean, that was the one episode with all the naked people. Right? Boom, boom. Okay, we will play as Peach. Um, yeah. I think based on what we saw from the trailer, I was expecting the one-eyed overseer was gonna be a lot more of a major character in this game, and he definitely was not at all a major character. Have I beaten this one? I think I have. Sorry, Harvey, I don't think anyone's actually watching that. <laughs> Thank you, Harvey. 
Here, I'll just do it like this. Don't worry, I'm fixing it. Jar still thing over there? Kind of is. Kind of is. There you go. There you go. Ah, uh, no, we didn't didn't see any of that, Phil. That was in that episode too. It's time for Shogun. Okay, goodbye, Quinn. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Didn't you put this game down? Yeah, I haven't played it in a long time. How do you play this game? What are we doing? <laughs> What's up, Jacob? How's it going? How's it going? How's it going? Oh, uh, apparently I am changing worlds. That's not what I would like to not restart this game with a boss fight. Hmm. So, Phil! Phil, you liked it? To see my reaction to the red rocket would have been great. Dude, that red rocket uh, location was phenomenal. I did flip out. And also, I got a little emotional when... Spoilers. You put the, you put the dog in the box! That dog would have died in there. But just, I was not a fan of that putting the dog in the box but yes red rocket i went immediately back to the um so my base in fallout 4 was at the first red rocket station that you run into i have such fond memories of just hanging out at that base with all of you and our two death claws merton and other one i don't even know if we named the other one um the dogs we had there uh we had like people chilling at that base i loved loved the um the Red Rocket Station. Journey together. Dude, Phil, come play with me. Come play with me. It nailed the overall feeling, definitely. Definitely did. Are we, get, are we getting a... Uh... Are you fighting me, Popo? Dog under chair. <laughs> Mugs, what what's your takeaway? So Quinn Quinn griped about a Quinn didn't like a little bit here and there. But Mugs, what was your take? Jimmy, Jimmy, I haven't heard what you what you thought about it. Generally favorable? Not favorable? Yeah, I don't think we want to be in the ice world. Nobody ever wants to be in an ice world in a game. Why? Because Ice World, not fun. It's too slippery. It's too slippery, everybody. The effects were great. The sound was good. You could tell they had passionate people working on it, had the budget they needed. Well, okay, so let's talk about that. Let's talk about that. Do we actually think they had the budgets? Because if I were to compare this... Uh, how do you tell if you've beaten it? I guess if you have the little peach guys. The special effects, I didn't think were great. I think the practical effects were great, but like the, um, uh, at, at the end, the Hank, <clears throat> the Hank at the end, actually probably episode seven, Hank, Hank and Cooper, Hank and Cooper, that, that, that deep fake was not faking. That deep fake was not faking. I that could have used use some could have used some work, my humble opinion. <laughs> you loved 95% of the dad nonsense at the end. Yep. Check it out. Oh, he's a store? It's a show. You don't need to get gripey. Yeah, see, I don't I'm I'm not that gripey about all the things. I wonder if they did that on purpose. Wait, having jank CG on purpose? Um, the foot. The foot also was pretty... Although the foot was like a good satirical type of jank, I would guess. Why can't I go over here? Maybe I do have to go up up the snow. Okay, we're gonna do the snow. All of the pre-war scenes were very stylized. Yeah, that's... I think they, they got the tone. They got the satire. They got all of that absolutely, absolutely spot on. Perfect. All right, let's go do this. Okay, I found a level, folks. All right, out of my way! We're gonna go do the level. 
Oh, this peach is not working how I thought a peach would work. Here we go. I hear California is actually asking them to do tax breaks to make some more fallout in California. Well, I mean, can I can I talk can I talk spoilers? Dude, this ice. Snake oil salesman, he was great. He was great, he was pretty funny. Cool, okay, we got nothing over there. Um, the dad nonsense made no sense to you, except for the fact that like that is Fallout. It's all about daddy issues. Todd Howard's got some daddy issues, does he not? Todd Howard definitely does. Oh geez. Looks a little pullable down there, doesn't it? Fall was meh? How come? What? How come it was just meh? I want to know, are you a Fallout fan? And if so, is that why it was meh? Although I'm surprised. So, like, so Phil... Phil is not a super huge Fallout fan playing fan, but he still really enjoyed, oh dear, still really enjoyed the TV show. That actually is kind of the proof that I was looking for in terms of whether people who are not as down and as into the lore in terms of, oh geez, um, are they going to find the show interesting? Yeah, the ghoul should, should just give her to Maximus. Just like, just do it, just do it. We don't need him. Switcheroonie wasn't needed. Switcheroonie, switcheroonie, switcheroonie. Which, which switcheroonie? Kick it. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. <laughs> uh oh. Hold down the run button. It's ice level, you don't run in the ice levels. Long list? Let's hear it. Let's hear it. I just went through the long list of why I did like it. It wasn't perfect for me, but like... You gotta have low expectations for video game TV shows, and on this one I had pretty low expectations, and it definitely exceeded them. I should have written that. Yeah. Ah! I don't know. Ice platforming and yeah, trying to pay attention to chat. It's too. It's too much. It's too much. Have a good rest of the stream. Good night, Phil. You got big. Wait, you have bigger things coming? I got big things that we're hopefully put in the mail. Coming. Good night, Phil. Thank you for dropping by. Okay, so, sorry, sorry. If I if I missed, oh god, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Look, you're all distracting me. You're all distracting me with this. What do you think about the audio quality on tonight's stream? It's getting my audio quality is about to get so lit. Yeah, see this? Ah! 
that, that's not how you're supposed to do that. That's, that was kind of how you're supposed to do that. <sighs> All right, we're gonna do that one again. Yo! How's it going? Good, sir. Happy, happy Tuesday. It has been a while. It has been an absolute while. I hope you are doing well. I am uh, not very good at platformers, so don't judge. Don't judge, man. You know I play Fallout. Yo, oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Hit the like button. If you want to find it, you don't know where it is. It's hidden under the three dot menu way the heck up here. It's hidden. It's intentionally hidden. At some point, it might become unhidden, I hope. I hope things are well. <laughs> okay, run button. Run button. Let's grab this thing. Some random dude. Greetings from Denmark. Oh, hello, greetings from Canada. Oops. 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 I don't know how kids play this game. This game's hard. And finally! Okay, be level, be level. We did it. We did it. We did it. Oh my dog has to keep moving. Is there a kid mode to this game? Could I play easy mode? <laughs> Get out of my way. <laughs> Get out of my way. This is a game that kids learn dexterity from. Yo, my fingers don't work as well now as they used to when I was a kid. I'm sure that's it. Age, age. You just, you lose the reflexes. I don't have my glasses on, I can't see. You know, it's probably because I never really played a ton of platforming games as a kid. It's so I just never built up those skills to begin with. That's probably it. That's, that's my excuse. Oh, oh, yes. This is not how fast you're supposed to do this. Oh no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> uh, I bought the mic and the mic arm. I had to, I had to. I didn't have to, I already own some, but whatever. It was cool looking. Oh, the owl is cool. Huh. I'm confused as to how I'm supposed to really be playing this level. Yeah, like... How do I get that? Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. he's coming. No! That was close. It's snowing! Look everybody, it's Canada! This is great. Should always be Canada in video games. Hey, Paul, what are you saying? What are you saying, big girl? Oh, she's not having it. She's done. She is done. She is asking for me to please be done. Huh, how do you get a dude over here? All right, well, we're just trying to beat the levels. We're not trying 100%, we're just trying to beat the levels. Okay. Hey, Pupo. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing, big girl? Yeah, 
that she's not very happy at all. She is not very happy. I don't know what's going on with her. She is asking for some attention. Oh dear, super hard difficulty. No thanks. We'll do the puzzle instead. Um, how was the snow in Canada this year? Same as the snow in the rest of... The rest of places that should have had snow. Non-existent. Oh, look with a friend? Um... Minimal. Poe and I had only one snow day. Which was really, really sad. here. It's kind of making me want to play Paper Mario, even though I really don't like Paper Mario. Hmm. That was seemingly telling me to go upstairs. How do we do this one? Next January, you might be in Canada for a month seeing some 41 across. You're coming for a month? A lot of dedication to some 41. Wait, this is it? I have found one of many. Yes, she is she's looking for attention, Kevin. She wants some attention. I think something's bothering her. What's up, Johnny Bean? Good to see you. Happy, happy Tuesday, good sir. Okay, wait, how? Hi. What are you doing? What are you doing, little girl? Are you just looking at me? Are you saying, hi, Abby? Yeah, Popo, we're playing video games. Can I still play the video games or do I have to hang out to go hang out with you? <laughs> Did you hear her? <laughs> oh. Hey. Hey, big girl. Hey, we're playing video games. It's not even nine o'clock, big girl. Yeah, you know Tuesdays we play video games. It's kind of like just being at work, but... Slightly different. Hey. Do you want her mommy? She does not care. She does not care. Not usually. Okay. I'm confused. How am I supposed to solve this puzzle? You're telling me kids can do this? How am I supposed to get all the way over here? And how do I... How do I... Touch that thing. No, I can't. There seems to be a, a ceiling there, so I can't do anything in the ceiling. I'm confused. Oh, okay, we got one there. Excellent. Any thoughts? Any thoughts? Any thoughts? How would you do this? How would you solve this? Should we go down this hole? Are we gonna die? Nope. Excellent. Yeah, she's gonna start eating stuff because she wants attention. Yep. Yep, she's doing something she should not be doing right now. Gosh dang it. Gosh dang it, these children. I don't know how real parents possibly stream. Alright, any thoughts?
I'm stumped. I'm stumped. Like we can see this one. Talk to the flower. That trick always works. Do bad things. Yeah, she's digging a hole in the carpet. Can you hear her over there? Uh, I don't know this one. What? Oh, that's not what I wanted. Yes, Ashton, I need help. I need help. Tell me, tell me, tell me. How do we do this? Thank you. Thank you, Baker Earl. Thanks. Why don't you go, go talk to Kevin? Just go talk to Kevin. Just, just leave it alone. Hey, look, go find your hair tie. Where'd you leave your hair tie? Thanks, Ashton. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so where, one, how do I get this one that is over here? How do I get this one? And how do I find the one missing one? Push the yellow pipe. Whoa! Nice. Okay, okay. Next, how do I get this one up here? I don't need to push these pipes. Thank you. Run and twirl? No, I don't I'm I'm not I'm not high enough to Yeah, I don't I don't start you can't get a good whoop. Found it. Found it. I feel like as a kid this would just frustrate me. It's too much work. Where's the tutorial? Where's my game facts? Never mind. Solved it. Solved it. Solved it. Solved it. Thank you, Ashton. Thank you. Thank you. How are you doing tonight? Get rid of this. Save this world. This music is very pleasant. For some reason, it is taking me back to um, Freezy Easy Peaks. A little bit of Banjo Kazooie. I know the vibes are totally different, but for some reason, it's just reminding me of that. All right, so hit the run button, hit the run button. Look how fast I'm going, oh my gosh. Oh, that uncovered nothing. There we go. How am I? I am I am in an interesting mood. But we're not talking about that, so I'm good! I'm great! I'm grand! It's everything's fantastic. You know why everything's fantastic? Because we're part of a team. Oh that hurt. Why am I using that badge? I don't know. I haven't played this game for months. Why am I doing many, many things I shouldn't be doing? Interesting mood, game, uh... What, what other badge would I use? This badge looks great. 
It will save me from dying. This is a great badge. I don't have any other badges. Should I have more badges? How do I get badges? Interesting mood? Is that good or bad? It's bad. I'm in a bad mood. Use the first badge. Use the badge with coins? I don't need coins. Why do I need- why do I need coins? Oh! Should've seen that coming. Def don't need no stinky badges! No, of course not. Ouch! I got scared! The mood is bad, but the stream is good. I think the stream was only good because we get to talk about Fallout. Oh god! This game looks fun, you'll have to try it. Uh, this is the one that just, it just came out, right, last year? It's kind of old. Exactly old school Mario. Ha ha, take that. But with a bunch of like cool secret wonder things. Oh gosh, I need that. No! Ah! Oh dear. Ah! Uh, Kevin, how are you doing? No. I thought I was too tiny to get skewered. Okay, wait, why are you telling me to turn on the coin badge? Why do we need coins? We need life, don't we? I need life. That's the only way I'm gonna make it through. Yes! You own a lot of cats. You don't get space. I don't get space. My puppy takes all of my space. Oh! I think the first one was a parachute badge. No, those ones are- those are- those are different. Aren't they? Okay, we're just gonna take it slow. You guys want me to go fast? Uh, how many dogs? I have one dog, but she's a big dog. She's a big dog. And... Know this? Anything unusual nearby? Well, let's go try to get that. Um, she's just big. She takes up a lot of space. You have 14 cats?! Good! I like that. Taking taking days off to play video games is always a good always a good way to spend some time. How do you do this one? I don't know how to do that. I don't have I don't have finger dexterity for this. Jump on the bird. You get- Oh, I could've jumped on the bird. But I'm not going to, because this level is hard. We're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep going. Yeah. Yeah, this isn't helping it. It's not- The stream is just not getting picked up today. I don't know, I feel like we had this before. We had this a couple of streams ago where it just didn't get picked up. And it just was what it was. Okay, what do you have for sale? Okay. Mm. Oh, I need those purple things. I should have been picking up those purple things, apparently. Hmm. 
Now that's incentive to pick those things up, right? Me? Hey? I'm kind of hungry. Does anybody want more dinner? I feel like I want some more dinner. YouTube deny listing me for watching Fallout? No, no, that doesn't, that does not happen. Oh! What's that shiny thing for? On the wall, a little sparkly. Yes! Okay, we got one. Hmm. She can't kick in the air, can she? Oh, yep, yep, cool. That'll that'll be it. Good night, Zorn. Thank you for hanging out. I'll see you next Tuesday. What are we playing next Tuesday? I don't know. We'll figure it out. We will figure it out. All right, now what is this? What in the bubbles are this? Bubbles are a little funky, aren't they? Next Tuesday, Alien Isolation. Mm. Do I have to? Do I have to? That game is too stressful. I don't want stressful games. I like their little, their little eyes where they're like, I'm gonna come get you. I see you and I'm gonna come get you. I like that. You need to save purple coins for the next world. Why? Why? What is it that I have to unlock in the next world? Ta da! I mean, I didn't die. That was pretty good. What's great is watching other people speedrun these, and then you watch me and you're like, oh dear. Oh dear, what's this one? Break time! This is a very chill type of laid back. Laid back type of game. Um, I, I'd say it's a stress reliever because you realize life isn't as hard as avoiding that alien. No, it doesn't work that way! It doesn't work that way, man. Oh man, that's that's bring back some clone high references. I don't think it works that way, Gundy. At least it can't get any better. I don't think it works that way, Gundy. You know when you say like, oh, I can't get any worse. And then it always gets worse. Ah! Well, Gundy was trying to make it get better by saying, well, at least it can't get any better. And then guess what? A $20 bill went flying in front of his face. And it did get better. Clone eyes great. Okay, I like that. I like these, these, these levels are great. These levels are nice and easy. They're great, it's good. Um, I really wanna play Bellatro, Bellatro. I really wanna play that. Um, so it is a roguelite. Nope, roguelike, I think. Um, poker game? Uh, I wanna play, I wanna play that one. I also wanna, like, get back into, uh, Slay the Spire. I was really, 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 really enjoying that one. Uh, I just, I just love roguelites these days. Roguelikes. Likes. Floating Eye. Is this the one that you wanted me to get, Ashton? Safety bounce? No, not quite the same. This is just frog legs.
Is Clone High a cartoon? Yes, it was a, it's, I believe it was a Cartoon Network cartoon. Oh, missed it. What about Prince of Persia? Um... Is there a new Prince of Persia game? I played Sands of Time. I mean, I think two. There was a Sands of, Sands of Time too, wasn't there? So I played through both of those. Were you talking the old school Prince of Persia? That was not so great. Almost there. I mean, no pressure. We got it, we got it. Yes, yeah, so I really want to get back into Slay the Spire. And Baldur's Gate, dude. I need to uh, make some progress on Act 2. I feel like I just played too much of Act 1 and so I got all Baldur's Gated out. And have not picked it back up in, what, like a month or so? What's this one? Hey, oh, Arena, that sounds hard. Oh, four stars? No, thank you. If I like card battlers, there's a game called Fights in Tight Spaces. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, oh, wait, wait, sorry. That's, this is the wrong. It used to be over here. Fights in tight spaces. This game looks pretty. Is that Keanu Reeves? Thank you, Harvey. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This, I don't know. It looks okay. It doesn't look awesome. It looks just okay. If it had a tactical strategy part to it, but it's, well, I guess it's kind of, no, it's not. It's not, it's not tactical enough. Yeah, yeah. Um, there's a side scrolly like Prince of Persia that came out and it's supposed to be awesome. Except I'm not so good at the side scrollies. I'm not so good at those. <laughs> Um, Ball's Gate seems like a long one. It is a long one. It's worth it. I'm just like, I'm just stuck in the middle of Act 2, and I'm stuck in... Oh. oh dear, what am I supposed to do? I don't have enough seeds. Yeah, I'm just stuck. I mean, I need to get back into it. I know, but... Hmm. Um, okay, wait, how are we supposed to do this? Do I have to fight this thing? I don't really want to. I do love Dead Cells. I do love Dead Cells. But you have to go through, Dead Cells is such a hard game that like you have to, you have to stick with it. Cause you lose, I, I lose the, dex the dexterity and like the, the parry times and everything so quickly. So you kind of have to like play it a lot and then it's like, no. I'm just gonna like put Dead Cells on the shelf for a little bit. Go back to Borderlands 1. I don't know that I've ever played Borderlands 1. Don't I have Borderlands 2? Didn't I just start with 2? Okay, what are we doing here? I'm just trying not to die? Or am I trying to kill stuff? Oh, I'm an elephant! You gonna stop Dead Cells? But it's so good! I'm just so frustrated because it's too hard and I can't beat one boss cell. I'm gonna do zero, no problem. I cannot do one. Oh, that was, that was not how that was supposed to work. Can I go back? <laughs> Can I go back? 
Wait, how do you kill these things? Oh, okay. I jumped to two? No, oh, it's more I just like wasn't super into it. I like I wasn't a he I'm I don't like first person shooters. Right? I don't play Fallout for a first person shooter. It's not a shooter. Oh, this is not how you do this one. This is not at all how you do this one. How do, how do you, I need to quit. Yeah, restart. I'm stuck. I'm stuck, I'm stuck. I did it wrong. Put this one on. Uh, where'd you get stuck, Kevin? So much rage? Nah, there's no rage. Perfect run. 45 minutes in. <laughs> Dead. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Well, BAM! That didn't work. Here's where we lose it. Binged it, you couldn't complete it? Wait, you couldn't even- wait, you couldn't do it- Oh! Hit something while you're up there! Uh, you couldn't do it at all? You can definitely do it. Are you, are you watching this right now? If I can beat zero boss cells, you can definitely. Uh, there's a way to there's a way to cheese it. You can just cheese it with turrets. Cheese it with turrets. Gosh, dang it! I need that. Logic would deduce that hitting the top of the block extends so you can What? I'm I'm doing logic. Look at this. So many resets? Yeah, that's- oh, I forgot the elephant. That's the whole point! That's why it's a roguelike. Like, 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 that one's only a like. Um, what I love doing with Dead Cells is I love, um, like, oh, I barely touched him. I love uh, speedrunning. So, try to get through, start to finish, beat Hand of the King as fast as you possibly can. So it's it's a fun struggle of you're trying to optimize your build and you like you kind of want to do all the grinding to unlock all the scrolls but you want to beat it as fast as you possibly can you want to unlock all the time doors so much fun so much fun and you just what it means is because you can get if you're going fast if you're just running from entrance to exit of the maps you can get to hand of the king in 20 minutes easy you can get there easy you might have a little bit of trouble in High Peak Castle because um, you have to go fight the mini bosses in there to get the keys to the rooms. But so long as you can just like fight, fight the well, I guess you have to fight the other actual mini bosses. I have trouble with the concierge. I've never had any trouble with the timekeeper. So like pick the good route. Boop. Um, well, yeah, you can get start to finish. You get to hand king in 20 minutes. And so you're only 20 minutes invested in a run, so if you don't make it, who cares? You just start another run, start another run, start another run, start another run. A couple hours later, you're like, wow, that was a lot of runs. I will hit you with my nose. I will maybe not hit you with my nose. Yippee! 
Oh god, we have to do this two more times? I don't know what I'm doing, Harvey. This is- this game's hard. Is there a time limit for this one, too? I have to hit the birds? Oh! I'm definitely not gonna beat the time limit if there is one. This one's not as bad as the purple fluffs. Purple fluffs was too hard. See my good strategy? Yeah, it's great. This is my foolproof winning strategy to beat dead cells. Just go fast. You get slightly less annoyed if it only took you 20 minutes versus if you're like on an hour and a half long run. I have vivid memories of um, being in, like playing in my bed at Christmas time um, with my mom watching me. And she's like, what are you yelling for? And I'm like, I, I, I lost my run! Oh, poop, here's where we lose it, right? Did I finish Phantom Liberty? Did I buy Phantom Liberty? Hey, what's up, Justin? How's it going? Okay, this level is not fun. Oh. Thank you, Harvey. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the super chat. How do I feel about dying in Dead Cells? I don't know. You're gonna tell us. Regardless, how do we jump in this game? That's not how you jump in this game. Well, here I clearly was trying to remember how to play. Alright, wait, uh, we might just burn this build right here. Yeah, see? It doesn't matter. See? See? Watch full video. That's great. Uh, wait, Kevin, you haven't beaten the game. You can't even take your head off. I promise, it only gets better. Oh, I love Serenade. He's so good. Okay, never mind. We're not playing. We're not playing. You know, we should. You know what? <coughs> Do I even have it on this one? This is my second switch. No, Borderlands is too... I didn't like number two. I didn't like Borderlands 2. It's too shooty-shooty. Too shooty-shooty for me. I, could, I couldn't get into it. I tried. I couldn't. I'm never playing Skyward Sword ever again. I solemnly promise you that. I... This is, this is not my right switch. The other one doesn't have any power. This one doesn't have any of the DLCs. I don't think. Oh! Handy. Handy dandy. Never mind, it does. Well, Kevin. Here you go. But I don't think this is... Will you do yourself a favor and look into Twitch? What's Twitch? What's Twitch? Um, playing Dead Cells. Uh, I don't think this has all of my unlocks in it. Which could make this much more... Di oh! Oh! I bet you this doesn't even have... How do you jump? How do you jump? Oh god, it's opposite jump from, uh... <laughs> it's opposite jump from Mario. Yeah, this is a fresh... I can't pop my head off! No! My head is firmly attached to my body! Oh, this is terrible. 
Did I make another account? No, you keep you keep the same accounts on your Switch, but you can't transfer your save files. So this doesn't have my saves. Ah, uh, yes, because you ain't nobody needs a shield. Okay, wait. Let me let me let me just remember the buttons. Oh gosh! Oh, the jumping! Oh, it's so painful. Okay, 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 okay. We got this. Tell me you gotta open the door. What are we playing now? <laughs> Kevin's making me play Dead Cells. This is gonna be the slowest run of life. Money! Oh my god, wait, I can't run up a wall! Oh my gosh! Oh, I don't even. How do you. How do you even. Oh! <laughs> Dust on this one, it has no juice, it has no power. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. This Dead Cells run is not gonna be a very good run. Not gonna be a very good run at all. Well, let's see how far we can go and then we'll call it quits for the night. <laughs> I should have three jumps! Why do I only have two jumps? I can't swap the switches if there's no power. You can't play a switch if it has no power. <laughs> so, I'm giving it some power. Uh, okay, let's, uh, this, this run is gonna go nowhere because I can't, I can't play without, um, all of the, he's so nerfed, he's so nerfed and he's so slow and he can't do anything. Yeah, he can't do anything. That's so frustrating. There we go. Money. Let it charge for a minute, it'll be fine. I don't know, I'm watching it. Oh, saw that coming. Saw that coming. This is how you beat dead cells. Just go like this. Firebrands, firebrands, firebrands. No, thank you. I still really love watching um, tech build videos of uh, of this game. Oh, we don't want to go here. Oh, wait, we can go here. <laughs> I haven't unlocked it. No. Oh, my lordy. Cool, we'll have to leave through some other means. Actually, it's probably up here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, not having run up walls. This is, this is painful. That's new. I've never seen that. There's a small bug in this jar. Something feels off. <gasps> what are these? I don't know what these are. Oh, cool. Got some new blueprints from that. That's, that must be some new content I had not unlocked. Play dead cells next week. Nope, not 
not touching you. Not touching you. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, that's, that is definitely gonna hurt. Oh, gosh. Dang it. So the thing about going fast is you pick up very few of these scrolls. I guess we're kind of doing this. Well, I don't have a health potion either. Oh. All right, there better be an exit over here. Come on. Yes, promenade. We'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take it. We will take a promenade, right, Popo? Popo says, oh, um, what are you doing? What are you doing? I don't, mm, I don't recall if two minutes and three seconds is fast enough for the door. I don't recall. <laughs> we were three seconds too slow. It's fine. It's fine. I don't. Oh. Yippee. All right. So we have one health flask. That's great. <laughs> One little baby health flask. <laughs> we'll take the Yoli! The Yolo, we'll take it. Whatever, it's fine. It's the worst one, but it doesn't matter. Discover the original co op shooter looter, crammed with all new enhancements. As one of four trigger happy mercenaries with RPG progression, equip bazillions of guns to take on the desert planet Pandora. Um, is it on Steam? You you can you can technically you can gift it on Steam. That's what Carmen does. Well, that's what she used to do. She used to just pick games that she thought would be funny for me to play, and she'd just buy them, and she would just gift them to me on Steam. Um, we will unlock. Do you get the the spider up the wall? Do you get that right here? Jumps. Oh, I, I was about to say, I'm not used to these guys not teleporting after you. There's a there's a thing in this level. There's a secret in this level that you have to unlock to get past it. Let me just This right here. Uh, oh, wait, the rose. Wait, wait. We, how do we do this? How do you get? How do you get past this? We skin you alive. So far, it wasn't worth the investment. I totally played that game. It was worth it enough for me. Okay. There we go. Cool. There we go. That's what we need to do. Then we have to run all the way back to the entrance. And do the thing with the key. Man, I hate replaying games from scratch. Is 
secret? Is this what we got? Or is this the other secret? This is the other secret. I don't need this one. There's a bigger secret up there. Um. What is my Steam name? It should be Barbara Emac. It should just be the same as my YouTube name. Remember? There we go, 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 there we go. We're not going down anywhere here. We don't have to go down. The the door should be up here somewhere. Okay. Is it this one? You need two keys for this one though. Just get you the explosive bow. That's not what I'm looking for. Uh, neither. See, I can't... Hmm. <laughs> okay, we gotta fight an elite! I did nothing. This is uh, dead dead cells. All right, so we can do the green. We can do the green now. And this is why it's a rogue like and not a rogue light. So we can make vines work. <sighs> okay, I gotta go to bed. Go ahead, little. Go. That's how you get past this level. You can't figure that out. You're stuck. Gotta go fast. Gotta go faster than those teleporting dudes. Oh gosh, don't fall in the pit. Oh, I need to go up. That hurt. Oh my gosh. I need to climb it up the walls. Level, which door, which door, which door, which door do we go up? Do we go down? Well, I can't do that one, so we can't go down there. All games are rogue lights. Likes. Uh, false! Wait. I mean. Private, so I can't add or gift you. Oh man, wait. Do we have to be, do we, do we have to be friends first? Uh, 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 it's probably because Carmen and I are friends. Add friend. Add friend. Copy. Pending invites. Uh. Does this mean I have to play? 
play it. That is my friend Druid. Do I have to play it? I might not want to play it. Okay, I should go to bed. We are we're we're playing horribly dead cells on this old I'm not going to be able to do much useful because, look, we're starting from scratch on all of this. Okay. I should go to bed. It is 9.45. I should definitely go to bed. We are not playing Dead Cells. As much as I love this game, I don't know how Kevin, excuse me, got me playing on it tonight. That would mean nothing transfers over death. No progress is, no progress are rogue lights. Correct. Correct. Yes. Bedtime. Bedtime. We could keep going, but no. I have. I have a lot of work to do tomorrow. And I have a really important review. First thing in the morning, in theory. Um, so, I need to be bright-eyed and bushy-tailed for that. Anyways, uh, today's stream has been kind of all over the place. Uh, we played three different things. Uh, but we did get our daily chores done, and we did get a lot of the weekly chores done in Fallout 76, so that makes me happy. I mean, I just, uh, that game brings me joy. It is just a nice warm blanket. Uh, the Fallout TV show, if you have not seen it, it's available on Amazon Prime. Uh, not sponsored, but you should definitely go watch it. Uh, if you at all enjoy watching my channel and watching me play Fallout on this channel, there's a lot that you'll appreciate in these shows. Even if you've never played the games yourself, uh, even if you've never wanted to, I think just by virtue of you being here on my channel, the number one Fallout streamer, uh, you know, there's still, there's still something there that could be really enjoyable. So please, please go and uh, go watch it. Because I figure the more eyeballs on it, the more likely we'll get more seasons. So I just want to like tell the world to go watch it so we get more seasons. Uh, thank you, thank you so much for the 27 of you who hit the like button. Uh, and thank you to all of my members for continuing to support this channel, no matter how random the streams are. Thank you, thank you so much to uh, Harvey for all of the super chats tonight and to Huntress for her, I missed bad huntress i did not recognize the number of months that she was uh, a member but harvey thank you thank you thank you for all of the the super chats mugs if i receive borderlands one wait which one is one and which one is two get just hold please borderlands one which one starts with in the snow Plus, I might have Borderlands. Let me just, let me just, let me just. Don't, don't you, don't go. Borderlands 2. Okay, I have two. I have two. Don't buy me any games. <laughs> I'm good, I'm good. I have two. Why do you need number one? I have two. I have two. Yeah, yeah. Um. Anyways, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I will see all of you next Tuesday. Will I see you beforehand? No, because I have a whole ton of non-work stuff that I have to do outside of work. The amount of appointments I have lined up this week for myself and for Poe, it is insane. So I will not be streaming outside of uh, Tuesdays this week, but I'll definitely see you next Tuesday and we'll play, I don't know, probably something fun. So thank you so much. Let's see if there is anybody who we want to go and read. Oh, Finny. Uh, well, he's, well, well. Oh, Dojo. A Dojo! Let's go say hi to Dojo. He's, of course, playing a little PUBG. Let's go say hi to, to him. We're gonna rate him on uh, YouTube Gaming. Any day drinking. Do I have day drinking coming up? No, no, I just have, no. That was last week. <laughs> no. <laughs> Peace and chicken grease, as Jimmy says. Drink your water. Have a good, uh, have a good week, everybody. Bye!